Hello, good evening. Usuarios y qué hechos económicos producían estas áreas usuarias. ¿no? Sobre esos hechos económicos. Good evening. We're just waiting for Wait. your class. Good evening, right? teacher. We are missing just two more minutes and then we are going to start, right? Okay. It's okay. Okay, it is eight o'clock. We are going to start. And I have these cards. And let us see the vocabulary that we have hidden in here, right? Because we are going to use this vocabulary for today's class. Now, I would like you to tell me a couple of numbers for you to see if they really match. If the numbers do not match, they are going to stay there. But if they match, they are going to disappear from the screen, right? Can you help me please finding the words, the hidden words? Okay. Tell me two numbers. Are you there? Yes, and number five? Number five and another number because there are two. Uh, seven. Five and seven. Let's see. Five and seven. Mm -mm. Two. And four. Two and four. Two and four. No, 
two two five. <laughs> okay, two and five. Okay, we have the first one. That is off. Off. Ten, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven. Ten, At eleven. In. No. Hello, teacher. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Seven and four. Seven and four. Yeah. Seven and four. Okay. Good. good. Okay. Good. Good. Good memory. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Don't take notes. Don't take notes, right? It is just about memory. Uh, number one and 12. Number one and 12. One. About. 12. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, number. Uh, Three and six. Three and six. Three and six. Two. Oh my God. Two. Now you're really okay. lucky. <laughs> eight. Eight, ten. Eight and ten. Eight and ten. Ah. Wow. Eleven. And uh -huh. eleven and eight. Eleven and eight. Yes. What else? We're missing just two couples. Fourteen. Um, Can you repeat, please? Fourteen. Fourteen and and nine. Fourteen and nine. Fourteen and nine. Oh. Ah. Ten. <laughs> but ten. Nine ten. Okay, nine and ten. Nine. And ten, yes. Correct. Yeah. And finally, we have the last yeah. one. That is thirteen um, and oh, 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 yes. fourteen. Okay. Well done. Now, do you remember the hidden words? Where were the hidden words? Do you remember? Okay. Type in the chat box. All the hidden words that you remember. Type at, in the chat. Okay, tap, at, type them. Uh -huh, at. Um. Uh -huh. About. 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 In. 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 in at. Yes. We are missing two. They were the first ones. You don't remember Repeat. more? <laughs> the ah. first the first ones? Which were the first ones? No, you don't remember? Okay. Now we are going to see if you can keep that in your mind. Let me see. I'm going to look for I don't find it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me.
Okay, I'm going to try it again. Now here it is. Can you see my screen? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, today we are going to start with lesson three. And we are going to have, for example, we are going to include two topics for today and the main objectives for today are these two. First, we're going to have uh, um, two different topics. Uh, one of them, it is going to be the passive voice. And also we are going to add about the uh, ING form that we call the gerund, right? Those are the two topics that we are going to cover for this uh, evening. And uh, we are going to start with some exercises. Well, not exercises, but I'm going to explain a little bit related to the previous vocabulary that we have already worked with. This one. Do you remember now all those words that were hidden in the game? So we have here all those words. We have in, at, or, to, on, of, and about. Do you have any idea what are these words? Do you know any idea? How do we call these words? No idea? Um, prepositions. That's it. Those are prepositions, okay? I was about uh, writing here. We have prepositions. And since we have these prepositions, then there is something very important here because do you remember the first topic that we studied that it was infinitives? That we have the verb to work. That was the first topic, right? We need to use uh, to. Now we are going to include the gerund form. We are not going to include the infinitive form. And this is another uh, grammar structure that we are going to use. For example, I have here this preposition. That is this. And then, what is the characteristic of this? a uh, preposition <clears throat> my department is responsible this is a uh, this is a mistake this is i the my department is responsible for keeping the safe for the plant now here, keep is the verb. But what is the characteristic of the verb in this moment? And ing. 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 And the same happens in the second example. The main chef is in church of directing your department. Department. Que pasa acá? We have the preposition of, and after the preposition, what happened to the verb? I and G. So it means that after having these prepositions, 
there is one condition. If you have the preposition, it means that the following word, the following verb, it is going to be used with ing. Right? Now let us try to change the verb that we have here. For example, my department is responsible for change the verb. Can you change the verb? Can you look for another verb? Of course, in ing. My department what? is responsible for, and instead of saying keeping the same. Writing, writing uh -huh. report? For, for example? Writing, uh -huh. Okay, for example, I'm going to say, my department is responsible for writing reports. Very good, ing. Another verb? My department is responsible for sending email. Sending emails. Okay, very good. Sending emails. Another one. Check in. Is responsible. Is responsible for in the Gmail. Can you repeat, please? My department is responsible for checking the checker. Okay. The Gmail. Ah, okay. For checking. Checking. The Gmail. The Gmail. The Gmail or the mails, right? The emails all the emails okay now you see that we are changing the ing ing what is the reason for uh for us to be writing the ing because we have this preposition and when we have any of these prepositions after these prepositions, if we are going to use a verb, and then we are going to use ing, right? We are going to use another one, for example, at. If my question is, what are you good at your answer might be I'm good at and you need to think about a verb what are you good at <laughs> Think about an activity. Studying. I'm good at studying, studying math. Le vamos a poner. I'm good at studying math. Another one. Playing soccer. I'm good at, I'm going to write it here. I'm good at playing soccer. Another one. Singing. I'm good at singing. Working. I'm good at Walking, working, working, trabajando, working, but we are not going to say 
trabajando, right? Because this ing, we are not going to conjugate it at uh, with trabajando. Okay? Okay, because you are saying here, um, I'm good at studying. You're not going to say, yo soy bueno para estudiando. No, mm -hmm. that is not the way that we say. Gerund, gerund doesn't mean that this is in progressive. This is not progressive tense. Gerund means that you are using the ing form of the verbs, but it is not the progressive. Right? It's a rule. Yes, it is because we we need to know when it is a um, uh, a present progressive or when that ing it is a gerund. Gerund it is like uh, having um, a noun, right? That is what it means. So that's why we need to be very careful because. If we compare the present progressive, the present progressive is, the structure is different. For the present progressive, I can say, I am studying, I'm studying English. I'm studying English. How am I going to identify that this is uh, progressive and uh, how am I going to identify that this is gerund? This is progressive, but this is gerund. ¿Cómo voy a identificar eso? For the verb, I am ye. For the preposition. Mm -hmm. For uh, the preposition. Because if we have a preposition, that is a gerund. No. It's always. For example, yes, yes. It's always the, is the, is the answer or before the, the preposition in the bare ing. It's yes. always. If you have these prepositions, later. After that, you need to write down the verb in gerund form. Gerund form. So if you see, if you check this example, it means if this were a gerund, ¿qué necesitaría tener antes? Para que fuera un gerund. The proposition a preposition, but it doesn't yes. have a preposition. So it doesn't have a preposition. Instead, it has the verb to be. The perfect combination for understanding that that is progressive. Mm, because okay. the verb to be plus ing, it is the combination to have the progressive tense. Okay. But okay. if I check the sentence in here, I don't have the verb to be here okay. before I, I need, have a preposition. I need... Okay. 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 So in the book, we have some exercises. Let me check. What page is that? What a mess. Okay. Here we have this in your book. Okay. Okay, I have this uh, conversation. As you can see, we have here sentences, bold sentences, it, it is. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. 
Is that familiar for you? It is an example for the previous slide, right? And then mm -hmm. I also have here, the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. Is that familiar? Yes, because they were taken from this conversation, but now they are part of a context. Now it is going to be different because in the examples, they were out of context. I just took them for you to understand, but now they are part of a complete conversation. Now we are going to read them for pronunciation, okay? We have Jessica and Roxana, and I would like to listen uh, to I would like to listen to Jessica, Carolina, and Kenya Lisette. Can you help me reading this, please? Okay. Okay, Jessica and Kenya. Okay, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the supply of the plant. I think I will be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. All department work together, but the maintenance chair is in charge of directing your department. You will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Thank you very much, Kenya and Jessica. Now I would like to listen to men. Uh, Jorge Adilson and Maximiliano Flores. Can you read it, please? Okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safari engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible responsible for keeping the safari of the plant. I see. I be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is is in charge of the region. Your department. You will be responsible responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Why not? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. Now we are going to listen now, and we are going to um. We're gonna try to improve a little bit some uh, pronunciation of different words, okay? First, we are going to do it slow for you to understand and for you to repeat. First, you're going to listen. The second time, you're going to listen, but also you are going to repeat. And the third time, you need to read it a little bit faster, right? Let us do it. 
Listen, only listen. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Now, we are going to listen and now we repeat. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. Hi, Roxana. Welcome Hi, Roxana. To Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. My name is My Jessica. Is Jessica. My name is Jessica. My name is Jessica. My name, My name, name is Jessica. Jessica. Okay. Si no se pueden ver, traten de sentir. Si ustedes topan los labios cuando digan name, está name. bien dicho. Name. Pero si usted no cierra la boca, name. es más mal dicho. Mm -hmm. Name. name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name. name es. My name, My name is. is. Pero si usted se queda con la boca abierta, it is not well done. Because you're going to say, My name is. My name is. And it is not my name. It is my name is. My right? name is. My name that's is. it. My name is. Yeah. Okay, that's my it. My name, name is Jessica. Is. I'm the industrial I'm, safety engineer. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the industrial safety, safety, safety engineer. 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 Safety. 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 Safety engineer. Safety engineer. Thanks. 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 Thanks, Thanks Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. Safety of the plant. Safety of the plant. I see. I see. I'll be part. Of, I'll be part of the maintenance department. I'll be part I'll of, be part of, of the maintenance department. department. Will I be responsible to you? Will I be responsible to you? Great. 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 Or departments work together. Or departments work together. Work together. But the main chief is in charge of directing your department. But the main chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? May I call you if I need help? Sure. 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 Okay. okay. Now it is your turn. You are going to read it alone. And for that, I'm going to ask Wilfredo Renderos and Rosa Rivera. Okay. It's okay. Okay. Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. 
My name is Jessica. I am an safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plan. I see it'll be part of the mining department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chef is chair charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now it is much, much, much better. Now let's see. We are keeping some troubles like how to read this. Keeping. 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 Maintenance. Keeping. Maintenance. 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 Departments. Departments. Department. No, okay, okay. It is not department. No lleva la A. We say departments. Departments. Department. That's it. Departments. Department. 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 Okay, Department. now. One thing skipping. Now let us listen to Elsie and Gilberto Lazo. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I leave you part of the... Uh, no, Maintenance. I don't understand what it says. It's that it's Maintenance. Maintenance. Main names department will be responsible to you. Great. Our department departments work together, but the main chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thanks, you Jessica. My I call you if I need help. Sure. Okay, good. I'm thinking about this. Thanks. Thank you. See the difference. See the difference between these two expressions, please. I'm going to erase for you to see it better. I need two different ways to say thanks. Thanks. Coma, Jessica. Thank Same. you. Same. Coma, Same. Jessica. Jessica. Two different ways. But Same. I cannot combine and I cannot say thanks you. I cannot say that. I can say thanks, Jessica. Thanks, comma, Jessica. My, I need to respect like the, the, the post about punctuation. And then I do say, hey, thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Jessica. Or I can say, thank you, Jessica. Both are correct, but I cannot mix them and I cannot say, thanks you. That it is not possible. So here we need to say thank you. Thank you. Right? And um, what was the other one? Let me see. There was another one. There was another one. Um, okay. In this one. 
you do not respect punctuation in here. For example, you say, I see, I'll be part of the maintenance department will be responsible to you. Mm -mm. We have a punctuation in there. I see, I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? There are two different sentences, right? But you have read it like if it were one single um, sentence, okay? Then we are going to listen to one, uh, two more students, and then we are going to have the first attendance, right? Volunteers? Shall we have any volunteers? Okay, Remberto and Osvaldo. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, okay. I don't know, Osvaldo. Give me, um, can you, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay. Okay, that's what I'm about asking you, okay? Please, if when we are participating, try to uh, turn your uh, microphones on. But if we are not, try to keep them off. Okay? Thank you. Okay? Thank okay. you, guys. Okay. Um, I don't know who I am. I'm Jessica. And you I don't know. Same. Okay. I don't know. Would you you just that. Would you agree with you? Roberto and Jessica, if you or Roxanne, Osvaldo? I don't know. Okay, you I start, Roberto. You okay. start. Okay. Hi, Roxanne. Welcome to the Rex. My name is Jessica. I am an industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. <laughs> I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our departments work together, but the maintenance chef is in the charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him? Thank you. Jessica, may, may I call you if I need help? Sure. Okay, very good. Very good. Okay. The only thing is that this one was not a question. You'll be responsible to him. It is not a question. That is the only aspect. Thank you very much. And now we are going to have the first part with the attendance. Before I forget it, and then we are going to do it. Let me see. Remember that you need to turn your cameras on. And let me see. Okay. Here we go. Por favor, abran cámaras. <clears throat> ¿Verdad? Ayer no todos abrieron cámaras when you listen to your name. Okay, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcantana. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Okay. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Okay. Gilberto Lazo Funes. Present teacher. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. <laughs> Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. Thank you. Jose Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Jose Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Just here. Jose Roberto Revelo Calderón. 
Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenia Lisset Barrera Hernández. Present, teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present, teacher. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present, teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Vázquez. Present, teacher. María René Jovel Álvarez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present teacher. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Present teacher. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Present teacher. En Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Okay, so we are going to continue, right? And now we are going to work in some exercises now that we have already checked the pronunciation of this. Now we are going to work with, the, let me see. With the exercises that you have on your page, let me check. That is your page number 14, okay? But I'm going to show you from the book directly because you're going to need to have your book, uh, the digital book, right? For you to work with it because you need to, to see and check the information that you have in there. Let me see. Okay, this is our page number 14 from your book. The exercise that we are going to do, here we have like um, the, the previous information, the one that we have been the, uh, working with. And then we have how to use ING form after prepositions. And then we have the exercise, it says, Complete equations below with the appropriate verb form. Then read the information in Rex's organizational chart to answer the equation. Check answers with your partners. So here we have for example, you need to see the uh, department that they are talking about, right? Who is responsible for? For example, who is responsible for uh, I can say, supervising the machine operators. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Supervisor. Uh, who are in charge of supervising? the machine operators, okay? The supervisors, that's what you say, right? Then, yeah. number two, what is the correct form to say the equation? Who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? That's it, okay? Who is in charge of? And after that preposition, we are going to have ING, checking the quality of the products, okay? Who is in yes. charge of checking the quality of the product? Which of this oh. one do you think it is the responsible? A auditor. But from this chart you have here. 
You have the information here. Quality control inspector. Okay. Quality control ins inspector. Inspector. Okay, that's it. Now for number three, who is responsible? And you continue. For repairing. Yes. Can you repeat? Can you who is responsible? Uh -huh. Who is responsible for repairing the problem of the machine? Okay, problems of the machines. Okay, good. Who is the one? Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machine? Maybe machine operators. Machine operators, but it says in terms of the uh no. problems of the machine. I think maintenance person. Okay. And the maintenance person. Maintenance, maintenance person. Okay, thank you. Number four. Who can read it, please? Who can read number four? I'm going to make it greater. Uh -huh. Who can read number four? Who is responsible for selling the product? Yes. The sales department. Who is the who is accountable for selling the product? Who? Sales department. Sales department. Okay. Number five. Uh huh. Number five. Who is chair of assisting the assemblers? Okay, the assemblers. The assemblers. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Assisting the assemblers. Assisting the assemblers. I think um what is that? drivers oh, but um what is assist oh. what is assist ayudantes there are true mm -hmm. assemblers assemblers no, but assist assist Supervisor. Okay, the supervisor. Because we need to understand first the, the assist to assist, right? Because he, there is someone that is supporting at any problem, right? To any department. Okay. And number six, can you read it? The final one. Who is accountable for managing? Managing? Managing the whole operation. Okay. Managing? Managing? M managing? The, managing whole, the whole operation. The whole operation. Uh -huh. um, Main name is Chief. Floor, floor manager. Floor manager. Who? Floor manager. The floor manager? Yeah. But it says the whole operation. The whole operation. The whole, what is whole? What is the meaning general of whole? General manager. The whole, whole. operation. The whole. whole operation. Gerente yes. de toda la operación. So, who is in charge? 
General manager. That's general it. manager. The general, general manager. manager. Because he is in the top and he has control of all the whole operation, right? So that's why he is the in the highest position that we have. Okay, good. Now I'm going to erase this. Okay, and I'm going to change. Okay. Now we are going to change. <clears throat> and now we are going to talk about something different. Later, uh, now you're going to be able to complete the exercises that we have there in the platform. Now you're ready, right? Yesterday you weren't ready. I've got some messages. I am so sorry because I haven't read them. Um, Jose Roberto. Ah, Valerie, okay. Apologies, I was. Okay, Kenya, if you have a headache, okay, you better, okay, no problem. You can have your camera off, right? Just, just turn it on when uh, we have the attendance moment, right? Okay, now we are going to continue with the second part of the class because this is the first in which we were going, remember that we got two topics in which we have like the first part, it is related to the gerunds. But the second one, it is related to some uh, sentences that sometimes we think that we don't use them, but we do. We do them. But before getting into it, um, would you please have a pencil and a, a notebook in your hands, please? Pencil, pencil. Okay, pencil. Do you have your pencils? And a, a notebook, right? Pencil and a notebook. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, just listen and write. Listen and write. What you listen, you write. No me hagan trampa, okay? So, Jessica, what does your company do? Right. No estén viendo la cámara ni nada. Right. Lo que entiendan. And what do you remember? Would you repeat, please? Okay. So, Jessica, what does your company do? ¿Qué es lo que tú haces en la compañía? Continue. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Okay, Wilfredo, you better write. Repeat, please. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Wilfredo tiene que estar escribiendo. Escriba lo que escucha. Y lo que comprende, of course. Lo último, lo último de, de lo que acaba de decir. Please. Ok. I'm repeating. At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. Ok. Continue. Yes. I see. And what is Rex now for? I see. And what is Rex now for? I see. And what is Rex now for? Okay. 
Continue. Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. No, I'm repeating. I'm repeating. <laughs> Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. And the quality? Well, the clothes. And the quality of the clothes we make. Oh. Great. Great. <laughs> we try it. <laughs> no, but we continue. Continue. That is what follows. Great. Okay. Continue, continue. And, Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Repeat, please. Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. The personnel? The personnel? The personnel is important for them. Okay. Congratulations, Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Repeat, please, Rex. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Period. We finish. Okay. Now, Lucy Veronica, lea lo que escribió. <laughs> Good night. Um, that Jessica, that company too. Continue. Uh, red clothes for give, give us. Yeah, continue. I see a um, white dress for yes, I see no. Dress the not mothers, the size, and the quality, and the clothes. In May, great. And you have the red for get. Absolutely, red is recoin. The personal is important that. Congratulations, Jessica. You right. That is reading is prestigious in El Salvador. Okay, thank you very much. Now this is not what I want. Let me see where is it. This is the one. Share this. This is their conversation. Now let us check it and tell me 
¿Con cuánto se evalúan your listening and written exercise? Because it was listening and also it was written. And you tell me, you tell me in the chat box, in the chat box, you grade yourself. Grade yourself, okay? You said, oh my God, I think that I've got a, a seven. I think that I've got a, a, a nine. Grade yourself in the chat box. Compare. Have <laughs> zero. <laughs> no. No. Oh, zero, no. Jessica, that's what she says, right? Oh my God, I have a zero. That's what she says ah. now. But it is now. Okay. Not for. <laughs> okay, great yourself. But Don't you worry. Understand. And that is for. this exercise for because yes. remember the only, the only congratulation but... is correct. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> so congratulations because you have that word correct. <laughs> yes. And it is because remember that for me, we understand. But, but then we don't know how to write it. But, but we understand. Yes. No, teacher, but for me is the right listen for right, but is but I I understand the conversation because it's the conversation is the made the 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 close the the chill, the child. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Is, but is the other person is when they, they say the the your company is better than the Salvador is but is I for the conversation must understand um for for eight. Okay. Okay. You are going to evaluate yourself. I'm not going but, to say, right? Because okay, there what? are two there are two skills that we are evaluating in this moment. Two different okay, skills. This. The first skill it is That's... listening. Listen. Listen. And the second skill is why is writing. Writing. Because I said, you know, for example, you have heard the word happy. But sometimes we don't know how to write happy. You listen the word, for example, absolutely. No. Quienes escribieron absolutely in the right way. Pero todos entendieron que era absolutely, right? Yes. yes. I write the word. But, but, it was, but it was kind of difficult to write it. Because one mm -hmm. thing it is to listen to it. And the second part is how to write it. Okay. Who wrote but... correctly personal? You see the word personal. Did you Happy write it in that way? Helps. Personal. This personal. It's personal. Okay. It's personal, Dan. It is personal. Okay. Which is it's the personal. difference? But you, since the yeah. personal is very important for the company. Okay, personal. Personal. Okay, yes. personal. Because you say personal, and there is a difference between personal and personal. What is the difference between personal and personal? Personal is about me. Personal, uh, the staff. Okay, very good. That the many the, people. That is the, the main difference. Good. I cannot check this out. I cannot move from here. Let me see. It is because now that you mentioned that, I've got, I've got, I've got the, the, the picture from 
for this difference? Yes, yeah, sí, yeah, yeah. It's in here. Okay. We have two different words. What your classmate has already said, it is right. Right? Because we have like personal, it is an individual, something from yes. you. Right? And that, that's why we say personal right. hygiene. In this case, it is hygiene. Personal hygiene. Personal individual. But when we yes. say personal, it is related to the staff, yeah. the, the people in church of you or the one that you are working with. That is the personnel. So two words that they seem to be kind of similar, but they are different, right? So we need to see the difference that they have and not to uh, have uh, any trouble at the moment that we use them. Good. And now we have here in the conversation, this is a conversation that we have just okay. uh, written. In this conversation, we have, for example, some bold words for example i have here what is rex known for rex is known for the mother designed or rex is recognized as a very prestigious company Rex is rated as one of the most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Here we have one, um, some structures that we can call like passive. Passive, and we say passive voice. And sometimes the passive voice can be in present, but passive, or in past, but passive. And what is that? What is a passive voice? Later, we are going to practice the pronunciation of the conversation, but we are moving and we are going to, we're going to try to understand this information. For example, I have in this table the simple present passive. Simple present passive. And also I have simple past passive. We are going to understand that If we have a passive sentence, and it is because we have an active sentence. We have active voice, passive voice. That is what we have. Active voice, passive voice. Let us try to understand that first. For example, I have here one example for active, and then I have one example for passive. Let us compare and let us see the difference. They are, they are taken from the same message. For example, I say people invite the writer. People invite the writer. If I analyze, if we analyze the structure, when they when they when I'm saying people it 
invited the writer, the writer. I need to understand the structure to identify that this is active voice. Let us see. Who is the subject of this sentence? Subject. People. People. Who, who is the subject? People. Okay. Let's see. People is the subject. Yes. What is the verb? Right. Okay. What is the writer? They. No. What the function? What they. function has the complement? Okay, I'm going to put it in a different words. Who? Who was invited by the people? Writer. The writer. In grammar, we call this object the object is the person or the thing that receives the action of the subject that's why i have people invited the object the object the writer but she's teacher but you see the in the sentences in the writers is the person it is a person, but okay. in, in grammar, we need, uh, for yes. example, subject, verb, and object. Okay. It doesn't matter if we call them object, but we are not saying the person that it is an object. That is the grammar part of the sentence, right? For example, another example, I can say how to identify the object. I can say, I like pizza subject I. subject bear bear e object yes object i like uh, pizza ah uh, but i can change the object i like i puedo decir I like him. Y es una persona. Uh -huh. I like him. But it is an object. Okay. The place that it has, it is an object. That grammar structure, it's called object. Right? So, yes. now, if we come back to this grammar structure, I say, people invited to whom? The writer, that is the object. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, based on that information, because that is the active voice, I'm going to be able to write down the passive voice. How come? Subject, verb, object. Passive voice, passive voice, me dice, okay. Aquello que en el active voice representa el objeto, In the passive voice, tomará el lugar del objeto. 
pasó el vientre. Gotcha. Entonces, if this is my object, in the passive, pasa a ser the subject. And then I'm going to say, the writer, y viene otro importante. The verb to be. El passive voice llama como invitado to the verb to be a que acompañe siempre al past participle of the verb. To be passive. And then, but first I need to check in the active voice. If the tense of the active voice, it is in past, the verb to be, to be. será in past. In the past. The right, I cannot say the writer is, porque la activa dice people invited past. So, uh, in this, but is in this case, the sentence, the object, the active voice is, is the subject. The object, the yes. subject, it is the, the subject is people. Not the yes, subject, but in, in the sense, the passive voice. In the passive voice, the object yes. now is the subject. Not the object. In the passive voice, lo que era objeto in the yes. active, now it's in passive, subject. it is the subject. Okay. Okay. And then I have the writer was, y mantengo el mismo verbo, was okay. invited, but, but aunque, is, ajá. But, no, but you, you need only for the, the passive boy, only you need the, the, the verb, the verb to be, and was and where, is was it's always. Where. Always, in present or in past. Okay. But not only that, I need another important partner here. Past participle of the verb. Aquí hay una doble Y que no tiene que ir. Aquí es only this. Past participle of the verb. Here, we have the verb invited, and we see that it is exactly the same in the passive voice. But here is simple past, and in here it is in, in past participle. Oh. E -B. E -I -B. Why? Why is this simple past and this is past possible? Yeah, they are different. Yes, yes. Pero se escriben igual. But since you know that the passive voice, it is going to be. It's a regular verb. It is a regular verb. That's it. That is the reason. You are going to have the past, the verb to be, and the past participle. ¿Y qué se hace people? ¿A dónde dejé people? By people. Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Sometimes we write here by I'm going to write people. Okay. Whenever I write by, it is because I'm going to write down the agent. Gramaticalmente, a esto que se escribe aquí se le conoce como agent. Agent. But, sometimes that agent, it is not important. 
it is not relevant. In that case, the agent is not written. Entonces, si aquí no aparece escrito, ¿qué significa? Que ya se sobreentiende. That is not important. It is not important. Can I have an example when it is important? Okay, I'm going to give you one example. Let's see. I'm going to write down. Leonardo da Vinci. Painted the Mona Lisa. That is active. Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa in past tense porque eso está en pasado, right? So who is the subject? Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Capital letter. ¿Qué hizo Leonardo da Vinci? Painted. Painted. ¿El qué pintó Leonardo da Vinci? La, mo la, la, la Mona Lisa. La Mona okay. Lisa. Subject, verb, and ¿quién es el object? La Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. La Lisa. La Mona Lisa. Ok. Escribamos una passive voice con esta oración. De Mona Lisa... Ajá. No. ¿Quién es el acompañante? Okay. Mona Lisa was painted. The Mona Lisa was was painted by Leonardo by Leonardo da Vinci. Da Vinci. ¿Por qué escribimos ahora by? Leonardo da Vinci. Is Leonardo da Vinci important in this sentence? Yes. 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 It is important. Yes. It is important. Yes. Porque yes. es una obra de arte. Entonces necesitamos saber who did it. So that's why we say was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. But when it is not important, like in our example, previous example, because it says people at the moment that we use this, the passive, we omit the agent. And we write the agent only when we consider it is important. So you see, we use the past of the verb to be because we need it. And also we need the past participle of the verb. And now we are going to check the exercises that we have in the table, not with this extra. Now let us see the examples that we have in here. I think it is going to be better to understand now. Let's see. Simple present passive. I am. It can be negative. I am not. Okay. I am not employed as director. The movie is not filmed in Hollywood. Check. ¿A dónde me voy dando cuenta que esto está escrito en passive? Verb to be. Verb to be Verb. and past participle. Yeah. Verb to be and past participle. Now, the only difference entre este bloque y este bloque es 
that this is in present and this is in past. Yeah. ¿A dónde noto que one is in present and the other one is in past? The verb. The verb, the verb to be. Was and where. The verb to be. The verb to be, because to here be. I'm going to say I am, the movie is, they are, but in past I'm going to have was, was, was and where. where. Was and where. And they can be positive or negatives, both. Sure. And check this out. This is the only one in which I see the difference of the verb because this is a regular verb. The rest employed, filmed, uh, invited, they were regular. Por eso se mantenía, se mantenía el ed, 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 ed. But now in this one, when we say the actors were not past participle. None in Hollywood. The actors were not not in Hollywood. Ah, pero si quiero decir que si eran conocidos, so I drop this out and then I'm going to say the actors were known in Hollywood. You see now the way that we use present passive or past passive. It depends only from the verb to be. Right? Okay. Now, the challenge in this moment is you are going to write down five active sentences. And those five active sentences van a derivar five passive sentences. Do you understand? Do you understand? What are you doing in this moment? Five sentences, the simple impression or five sentences in the same past? Uh... Mm. Five sentences inactive. No. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Active. Active. Five active sentences. Porque quiero que entendamos eso. Five active sentences. Y esas mismas five active sentences me las van a transformar a passive sentences. Do you understand? Yes? No? Yes. Macho menos. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are going to work in different breakout rooms. You will work with your classmates uh, for writing these uh, 10 exercises. I think that in five minutes, we have already finished with them. Okay. When we finish, we're coming back and you are sharing those exercises with your classmates. Okay. Is that clear? Are we ready? Sure. So let us go and work with your classmates in this moment. Remember one thing, please. Traten de mantener your cameras on when you are in the breakout rooms. Para tener una mejor communication with your classmates. Okay, let us go and work.
pa yan, lang ano tayo. Ah, sa la voy a mandar aquí. Ajá, en el chat, ajá. Vale. Eso podemos hacer para irlas anotando. Teacher. Hello. I can disconnect right now. Why? No me estoy sintiendo bien de salud. Okay, okay. If you don't feel well, that's okay, Jessica. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay. No ha faltado ningún día, ¿verdad? No. Okay. Gracias. Feliz noche. Okay, feliz noche. Work it. Work it. Uh -huh. Es como el ad oído de nosotros en español. Uh -huh. He is working every, every night. Sería mejor, ¿verdad? Every night.
Ajá. Y el verbo to be, ¿cómo quedaría ahí? Ahí sería mm, was o were. Uh, was. Creo que were. Was, ah, ok. Es que en qué, ah, o sea, ahí también me confundí. ¿En qué, eh, con qué sujeto se ocupa was y con qué sujeto voy a ocupar were? Creo que was solo es con, was es con para singular. tercera persona. Ajá. Y where es para... ¿Para qué? Well. No, ¿Para no qué? sé. No sé la verdad. Ajá. O sea, en los ejemplos que la teacher puso de movie, de after, o sea, how, de was, creo que es solo para, para usarlo en singular. O en primera persona. Tercera persona. Y lo otro. Ajá. Y where creo que es Pero. para los otros. Ah, Ajá. Ay. Pero y entonces. Si, ajá. No sé. O qué sustituir. O no, no, no se ocupa. No sé. Si yo me entiendo. Pero va. <ríe> ya voy entendiendo We use un poco where, a poco. we use where when we have a plural pronoun, for example. If it is, for Okay. example, like, um, let me see. We have the, exam the examples I said. The actors were not known in Hollywood. The actors were not known in Hollywood because it is plural. If it were singular, I can say the actor... was was not known in Hollywood. okay Okay. okay okay and and then <laughs> Be ready because we're coming back.
I'm so sorry. I was explaining and I've got my microphone off and my camera too. So <laughs> I need to repeat again. This is the whiteboard. You have the tools here on your left. You have the tools for writing. For example, you have a letter T. Letter T, it is the tool for you to text. And I think it is the most useful for you uh, because it is easier to write. Well, also you can have the post like in the wind. I think that Moses is using the post but it is better the texting. And try not to use the pencil because there, that, it is a little bit more difficult to manage, right? So better texting or the post -tick. And I want you to write down one active voice and the passive voice at the same time, right? Okay, let us do it. I want to read your exercises. Okay, I'm going to start writing, reading, I'm so sorry, some of your examples. For example, I have here this one. It says, Mario drives the red car. That is the active voice. And then we have the passive. The red car was driven by Mario. That's it. Okay, that is correct. So we have the active in the passive voice. Then I have another one. I'm going to take it from here. Mary bought flowers. Flowers were bought by Mary. Remember that the agent, if you want to include the agent, you need to say by, not for. Have another one. My father built the house. The house was built by my father. Okay. I have another one. The students Read, read the book about history. Students read the book about history. The history book was read by student. Yes, it has sense. The musicians invited to sing at the party. Okay, alguien escribió aquí the musicians invited to sing at the party, pero esa no tiene un objeto, porque dice the musicians invited, ¿a quién invitaron? No dice a quién, solo dice invited to sing at the party. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, the musician, um, the group, sería un grupo? Okay, the, you can say, for example, the musicians invited the band to the party. 
So we can say the band was invited to the party. Okay. 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 Danny, David invited. Okay. Acá tampoco tenemos objeto. David invited. ¿A quién invitó David? No está el objeto. David invited view movie. ¿A quién invitó a ver la movie? Invited to the movies. Pero no dice a quién invitó. So we have no direct Uh, we don't have a, an object here. Entonces nos hace falta the object para poder hacer the passive. Si no, no podemos. Then we have active. She went the most beautiful church in the north city. The most beautiful church was the north. Mm -mm. Aquí tenemos un problema. Okay. No tenemos voz activa, por lo tanto, no hay voz pasiva. For the po past active voice, Necesitamos un verbo que recaiga la acción en un objeto. Pero aquí solamente dice que she bueno, went bueno. to the most beautiful church. Pero Sería no visitar. Hay... Ajá, pero visitó. Sí. Ok. Ajá, o visita. Ok, uh -huh. puede uh -huh. ser. She visits. Visit. The sí, most sí, sí, sí. beautiful uh -huh. church in North. Entonces, la voz pasiva, ¿cómo sería? Um, considero que podría ser así como está, porque es, el, recae sobre el objeto. El objeto es que la, la iglesia más hermosa que está al norte de la ciudad. ¿Qué Ajá. pasa con ella? que está en el norte de no, la ciudad. No, porque no hay una acción. Y está quiere decir que solamente está ubicada, pero no es una voz pasiva. Right? It is different. I'm thinking about how to change it. For example, many people, many people visit the most beautiful church in no, in the North City, many people visit the most beautiful church in the North. Now, ¿cómo sería the passive? <clears throat> Ahora sí tengo elementos para hacer the passive. ¿Podríamos ayudarle? Si yo mejoro la oración de ella, quedaría Many people, en lugar de decir she. Many people visit the most beautiful church. Estoy acordando. In the city. Vamos a poner. Can I have a passive voice from it? Yes. How come? Comienzo con el objeto. ¿Quién es el objeto? The church. The most beautiful church. The first church. In the city. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Visited. Visit. Visited. Visited. Pero tiene Visited. que estar acompañado con quién? Was. O oh, where. Mm, pero aquí dice visit. Many people visit. It is in present. Many people visit. Visited. Visit. Pero tiene que estar acompañando. Una the, most, the most beautiful church was or is? Was. But the was, the past. Porque, 
¿Por qué? Si la oración no, activa it, dice uh, visit, está en presente. Yes, oh, yes, Ajá, entonces, if it is in present, my passive voice it is going to be in present. And then I'm going to say, the most beautiful church is visited by many people. Right? But I need to create the two things. I need to have a subject. I need to have an object. And that is what we need to do. Mm -hmm. this moment. Then I have the secretary sends emails. Ahí tenemos tenemos objeto que son los emails. The emails um, okay, pero emails are in plural. So what, what would be the correct way? The emails y vea also I need the pen i need a pen here it says the secretary sends sends en qué tiempo está al igual que la compañera acaba de hacer el ejercicio what is the tense of sense en qué tiempo está the secretary sends emails present it present. is present it is present so in the passive voice, I'm going to say the emails, in primer lugar, if it is plural, where? Fuera where? Pero si fuera en pasado. But we have said that this is in present. The emails is sent, sent by Pero the si secretary. Is... No. Pero es plural. Is in present. Is in present. You're right. Are, ah, the, ah, the emails oh. are, are uh -huh. sent by the secretary. That's it. Ah, oh. Okay. 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 You get it, okay. right? It's, okay. it's a clear. Yes. Okay. I can read. Okay. And now we have here another one. Students read the book about, okay, I have already read that. And uh, David invited... Pero no me ha puesto todavía David a que invitó. Está solo. Dice Está long. solo. No, no, no dice. Hey, what did you do? Who erased the whole information? <laughs> No oh, quieren ser expuestos, dice. Yes, my goodness, you erased it. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Okay, that was about trying to check that sentence, but it was not possible. Okay, guys, now uh, we have some exercises in the book. I think that we're not going to have too much time, but at least we are well, going to fue. do them. Uh -huh, we <laughs> better, you did it, right? No. Okay, so we are going to, to go again here. And we are going to have this. Okay, we have here, for example, exercises in which we have the passive voice. In your book, we have this. For example, this is the grammar point where we have already studied previously, right? We have here is rated. This is in present because the verb to be is in present. Rex is recognized. It is also in present. That's why we have said to say a sentence in the passive voice, use to be followed by for the doer and the past participle of the main verb. And then we have some exercises. And these exercises let's see if we can complete only one or two, right? Let's see. Number one it says our company is considered 
the best manufacturer of prunes in the country. Why? It says, uh, let's see. Complete the statement using the passive voice. Using the verbs in parentheses. Consider is the verb. Now, the second one. Our products, all of them are going to be, I think, in present because that is the, 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 the idea of this. Rate. What is the past participle for rate? Rater. Rater. So, our products, plural. Our products are. Are rated. Yeah. Our products are rated as one of the most popular in the United States. Number three, our customer service agents. Are. Are perceived. Are. Perceived. Perceived. Perceived as the most as efficient in the sector. In the sector. The brand is so thin. Past participle, past participle, past participle. You see. Um, is thin. Is thin. Is thin. As a leader of the energy drink market. Number five, and we're going to finish. Okay, the company is uh -huh. no. new in no. new no. that is past new no 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 non non no. no. it is non as a major no. producer of no. non non only put uh, the m yes but that is the past participle yes now, our vegetables are, are, okay. are, are rated, 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 rated as rated. the less contaminated, contaminated of the less contaminated of the national market. Of the national market. Of the national market. And we market. did it. Okay. Good job. We did it. We completed them. And now we are going to have the attendance. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see the attendance. Let me look for it. Cameras again. Hey guys. Okay. Hoy vamos de abajo hacia arriba. Okay. Wilber Alexander Mendez Garcia. Not here. Wilfredo Renderos Leon. Valeria Michelle Monge. Teacher present. Aha. Valeria Michelle Monge Valencia. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Okay. René Alexi Caballero Amaya. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Moisés Elías Torres Bernal. Present, teacher. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present teacher. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. María René Jovel Álvarez. Lucía Verónica Nerio. Present teacher. Kevin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present teacher. Kenia Lisette Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Karina, no, Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Okay. José Roberto Revelo Calderón. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Yes, here. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present teacher. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Saldana. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayo. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. I'm here, teacher. Gilberto Lazo Funes. 
Present teacher. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Present teacher. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Alma Brendalí Nieto Elías. And finally, Alfredo Rigoberto Alcántana. No? Okay, guys. It's been a pleasure being with you during this week. So we're going to have a break. Have a nice weekend. And see you on Monday. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank Good, you. Night. Good night. Have a nice weekend. See you on Good Monday. Night. Okay. Bye-bye. So do you.